Go ahead and put on your glasses. You'll hear me better. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about how vision actually helps you hear better. You know, I recently joined the ranks of individuals who need to wear glasses. In fact, I had a lot of people tell me that once I hit age 40, that I'd probably need to get glasses at some point. And you know what? They were right. And even though my vision really isn't that bad based on most people's standards, I can definitely tell that when I put my glasses on, I can see better. But you know what I also started noticing? I can actually hear better when I have my glasses on too. Let me explain. You see, the eyes and the ears are linked in more ways than you can imagine. For instance, did you know that your eyes and your ears work together to keep your visual field stable? This is called your vestibulo-ocular reflex, and it's the reason why you can move your head from side to side but still effortlessly keep your eyes fixed on an object. Or how about the fact that your pupils actually dilate or get bigger when you are focused and concentrating on someone talking to you? Or when it comes to actually understanding what you're hearing, your eyes play a big role in that too. In a few seconds, I'll play you an example that illustrates this fact. But before I do, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of a broader audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos and I publish a ton of new videos every single week. That being said, I greatly appreciate it. Now back to the video. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and play you a little clip of some soccer fans chanting, that is embarrassing. But then I'm gonna put up some different visuals on the screen and see what you actually hear. That is embarrassing, that is embarrassing, that is embarrassing, that is embarrassing. Now, I would bet that what you heard actually changed by the different phrase that you saw pop up on the screen. If you didn't, then you are certifiably insane and I can't help you. Now, there's this other phenomenon called the McGurk effect that I made a video on several years back. This is where a simple change in mouth movements actually makes you believe that you're hearing something different even when the audio hasn't changed. Now here's another example of how visual information changes what you hear. Remember back in 2020 when we went through that COVID pandemic and everybody was wearing face masks and you really had a hard time understanding what they were saying? It wasn't because the sound coming out of their mouth was diminished that much. It had more to do with the fact that you really couldn't see their mouth. In other words, you lost access to their visual cues when they were speaking. Now when it comes to hearing loss, you actually lose the ability to hear certain speech sounds that we call phonemes. For instance, the word cat has three phonemes, k, a, t. Let's say that your hearing loss resulted in missing one or more of these different phonemes. For instance, let's say that you lose the k sound, so all you would hear is at. If you lose the t sound, all you would hear is ka. Now, if you had a hearing loss and you were missing one or more of these phonemes, you would have to do one of two things. You would either have to be able to have context around the fact that someone's talking about a cat, or you'd have to see their mouth movements to fill in the missing gaps. Of course, if your vision is not good enough to see the mouth of the person who's talking to you, that's gonna create a huge problem, especially if you're in background noise. So what does this ultimately mean? Well, it means that if you had hearing loss, you need to make sure that you're treating that hearing loss. And if you have vision loss, you need to treat the vision loss in order to get better hearing as well. From a hearing perspective, it's relatively simple. If you have a hearing loss in certain frequency ranges, you use hearing aids to amplify the sounds inside of those ranges so you can hear them again. When you have your hearing tested, you can actually see which of these phonemes that you're missing so you know which phonemes you have to replace with amplification. Here's a pretty typical audiogram of someone who has a hearing loss in the high frequencies that typically results in a lack of speech clarity and inability to understand speech and background noise. Any of these speech sounds that are below the X's and the O's in the white region are sounds that you can still hear even with your hearing loss. And any of these speech sounds above the X's and the O's in the shaded gray regions are sounds that you can no longer hear due to your hearing loss. Properly programmed hearing aids can make most, if not all, of these missing speech sounds audible again as long as your hearing aid programming is verified using real ear measurement. 
Now, I'm not going to get into a long explanation of what real ear measurement is, but it is extremely critical for you to understand this verification technique, and I will link this video down in the description if you wanna learn more about it. Of course, even if you have your hearing loss treated perfectly with hearing aids, you still need to make sure that you have good access to visual cues, because even individuals with completely normal hearing need to rely on these visual cues, especially in background noise. This is why getting your vision tested by an optometrist and actually treating any vision loss that you have is a terrific idea. In fact, I believe that vision is so important to hearing that I believe that this will be the future of helping hearing aids perform better in background noise situations. And if you want to know why I feel like that, make sure that you check out this video that I will link in the description as well. Overall, the recommendations that I'm making inside of this video to treat your hearing loss if you have hearing loss and treat your vision loss if you have vision loss are not really that novel. But if you're looking for ways to improve your hearing, you need to start looking beyond your ears and start thinking about your eyes.